Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with large source bases. Are viewers curious about how to nest XAML.CS files under their corresponding XAML files while using wildcards in their CSProj file? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer has a substantial source base that is generated and they're looking to minimize collisions in their project file while collaborating with a the team. They've successfully used wildcards to organize their .cs and .xaml files, but they're facing a challenge, the loss of grouping between .xaml and .xaml.cs pairs, which can make navigation clumsy. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. To address the issue of nesting XAML.CS files under XAML files in your CS proj, we need to ensure that the project file is set up correctly. Let's start by looking at how to include your XAML files. Next, we want to include the corresponding code behind files, which are the XAML.CS files. This is where we can specify the dependency relationship between the XAML and XAML.CS files. To automate this process for all your XAML files, you can use a wildcard pattern in your CSProj file. However, this requires a bit of manual setup for each pair. This setup allows Visual Studio to recognize the relationship between your XAML and XAML.CS files, keeping them grouped together in the Solution Explorer. Finally, remember that while this method helps reduce collisions, it may still require some manual adjustments as your project evolves. Regularly review your CSProj file for optimal organization. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The user discusses managing a large source base that is mostly generated. They recommend updating the csproj file to include a separate folder for manual work, which is then added next to the generated items. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time, next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.